Okay, now that we've migrated to a different process, the lsas.exe process, what I can do is I can run a hash dump against the system to try to have access to the SAM file and have access to the uh, SAM database so I can have access to the passwords. So um, here we go, I'll just type hash dump. All right, and I get a dump of the um, the hashes on the Windows system and what I can do is, is I can copy these so I'll just copy those alright right click and copy and we'll put those into a text file I'll open gEditor and paste it alright and we'll just try to crack the main user account Joe Shadow so we'll go in here and we'll say there's the Joe Shadow hash right there username Joe Shadow process uh, user ID 1003 and then this is the two hashes separated by a colon that make up the password here okay the LM hash and the NTLM hash so I'll save this to the root folder as user hash okay and I'll save that there so that's saved in my root folder okay and I'll close that alright we'll close that and now what we can do is we can try to see if we can crack that hash with a password cracker so what I'll do is is I'll open up a new terminal and I'm going to change directories into the root folder into the pen test folder and then I'm going to look for the pass passwords folder alright and in there should be another folder called John and we'll go in there and this is where the program John the Ripper which is a password cracking program is so what I can do now is I can just say let's run John okay against the root folder and the password which was called user hash and it's loaded the, the um, password hash and it's attempting to crack it alright and there it is okay it took eight seconds and the username Joe Shadow and the password is my pass so that was pretty easy. Uh, more complex passwords will take a lot longer time, but you can see that we were able to exploit the vulnerable XP system running a vulnerable server. We were able to use Metasploit to basically um, get complete access of their system, grab the hashes from their SAM database file, and then crack these hashes to get the passwords for the system and now we could log into the system whenever we wanted to